Hi guys, how are you doing? We know that one of the things that disqualify many DV lottery applicants from being selected is the photo requirements. And under the photo requirements, many applicants, they make mistakes that can be avoided. And these mistakes can be avoided by going to the travel.state.gov and view the photo requirements as we shall do it right now. Let's jump onto my desktop and see the requirements. When you search for photo requirements for the diversity visa lottery and you select and you select that which is under the travel.state.gov website, this website here, then this page will come. And under this page, we see we have photo requirements. And under photo requirements, we are given plain and direct requirements of the photo. And as we can see, the first requirement is that the photo should be in color, not black and white or blue or any filtration. It should be in color. Number two, the size of the head it should be between one inch and one and three eighth inches that is 22 millimeters and 35 millimeters and it covers 50 to 69 percent of the total photo and you can use this template here this is the template provided by the travel.state.gov and it looks like this, but let's continue. Number three, the photo should have been taken within the last six months before the application. So if you're preparing for the DV2024 at this time, this is July the 23rd, you are not late. It is the right time that you should prepare a photo for the DV2024 application. So it should not be more than six months. And then we have, it should be taken in front of a plain white or off-white background. Don't use any other background, be it red or blue or whichever background. They need a white background. The other requirement, it should be taken in full face view directly facing the camera. Your face should be directly facing the camera, not sideways or tilted sideways or downwards. Should be directly facing the camera. The other requirement, you should have a neutral facial expression. Don't laugh or cry or be sad or twist your face or contort your face but it should be a relaxed face a slight smile maybe or just a relaxed face no exaggerations it should be taken in clothing that you normally wear on your daily activities just wear plain clothes that you wear on a normal daily activity the other requirement, uniform should not be worn in your photo. Maybe you are a policeman or you are a military officer. You should not wear your uniform when taking the photo. The other requirement, do not wear a hat, a head covering that obscures the hairline unless it is worn on daily basis on the purpose of religion like for example the muslim only one on daily basis and on the purpose of religion but no wearing hat or any veil that covers the hairline the other one you should not be wearing your headphones your airpods or your earphones Whichever the gadget, you should not have anything 
worn on your ears. Eyeglasses are no longer required. So even if you are using the spectacles or the eyeglasses, you should remove when taking the photo. But there is an exception. If your eyeglasses are by a physician, maybe you have undergone a medical treatment that requires you to have your glasses on. That is an exception. But the frames of the eye glasses must not cover your eyes. There must not be a glare on the glasses that obscures the eyes. There must not be shadows or reflection from the eyeglasses that obscures the eyes. And finally, if you normally wear a hearing aid or a hearing device or similar articles, they must be worn in your photo. If you normally wear a hearing aid because your ears are impaired, then you should be wear them in the photo. Those are the few requirements of the photo. And if you follow these requirements, then your photos will be perfect for the application. Now, let us look at the examples provided here. Review the examples. When you click this link, then you come to this page here. And under this page, we see the provided photo examples. And these four photos here, they are acceptable because their faces are facing directly to the camera. And then the background is plain white. And as you can see, for the religious clothing that covers the head that is worn on daily basis is also acceptable here. And as you scroll down, you'll see some of the bad examples, like this photo here. When you look at this photo, the background is off-white, yes, but we have the shadow. This shadow disqualifies this photo. And you see this has a blue filter, blue filtration, and we are not required to take it in any exaggeration or any alteration. And this face here, you can see the background is gray and not white. So such kind of pictures, they are not required. But when you look at this photo, which is here, you can see the background is plain white, the facial expression is just neutral, and you see that they are facing the front camera directly. Now, where do you go to take these photos? Or how do you take these photos? So, in the next video, I'm going to discuss on how to take a good photo and also how to use your phone to take the photo. But, to end this video, you can go to a professional photo studio. And when you go there, you tell the attendant there that you want a photo for the application in the green card lottery. So tell them that you're going to do a diversity visa lottery application and you need a photo for that. If that attendant is a professional, he or she knows the requirements and how to take that photo well. But as I've said, we are going to do a video on how to take a good photo using your phone. So stick around for that. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But if you're a returning one, I need your likes. Please like the video and thank you so much for your support. Let's meet in the next video.